Um, this is dye sublimation, which is a very cool process. So just remember this and how big it is and what it looks like. When I talk about dye sublimation in textiles, you'll be way more impressed. Um, CNC lasers and dye sublimation in alternating layers. So this took just way too long. Um, every tessellation is unique, um, and every layer of color was printed on its own over and over. And then this is uh, CNC laser and 3D printing. And this is based off of an infinitely tessellating shape called a hat. Uh, that's as much as I can explain. I really don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, but you can um, reconfigure it if you want. And it's based off of a uh, hiking trail that um, Brian Watt did. So it's a long term hiking trail with snow capped mountains and water and all sorts of stuff. Um, we've got a CNC piece over here. And then we've got um, our textile submission, which is amazing. Uh, the woman who did this is like a costume designer uh, for Netflix. And she was like, how do I drill 8 million holes in a piece of wood? And like, you do not use lasers. So uh, she was taught lasers, and this is the result. She wove all of that yarn um, through all of these holes, and it, I'm sure it took a million years, but it looks incredible. And it's the one that won. <laughs>